Today we're tying the SS Bitters. This is our rendition of a very popular fly that's usually required by most lodges in Central America, especially Belize. Um, we've found this pattern to be very effective in the Bahamas, in the Florida Keys, and we've even had some luck on um, warm water stuff doing bass and some sunfish. And um, even on the coast of Maine, we've had people catching striped bass on this fly. So, hope you enjoy. First thing we're going to start off with is prepping our heads. Uh, we just take some K-Flash, wrap it around an eye, add a weed guard, UV goo, spin it on the wheel, good to go. Now we have our rubber legs. I have some dandy long legs, daddy long legs I think they're called. Um, notice how I have some Velcro. I'm cutting them with a real burly pair of scissors and just layering a couple different colors. I have some orange and tan here. Um, I use up quite a bit of it. This is a prepped for about two dozen flies here, um, so it's quite a bit of material. You don't actually have to use that much, but we sit down and tie at least two dozen of a pattern at a time. So now we have our badger body fur. We also use some bleached deer body hair. Uh, we also have our tan UV polar dub through hairline dubbing, and we prep our battle station. We get everything set up. It's ready to go. So here we are. If I can keep my camera in focus, I'll show you how we wrap the thread down the base. Um, first, we want to tie on the badger. And we love this stuff. It's very tr translucent material. Um, has a lot of motion. Has some neat guard hairs that kind of look kind of shrimpy. Maybe some guard hairs that kind of look like some antenna. Um, next, I just grab my root beer silly legs. There's some orange tips on those guys. Basically, just tie it on the shank so that the tails are splayed and just slightly shorter than your tail. Now I grab a pinch of the polar dub, grab another pinch of the material from the rubber legs that I had cut in the Velcro, and what we want to do is just put the one material on top, veil it around, pull it all back so it's more or less hollow tied, and then I add another pinch of the polar dub to kind of veil it around so it's nice and smooth. Uh, I really like this UV tan polar dubbing because it adds a lot of nice, natural, almost transparent sparkle, um, not too overwhelming. Next I'm going to grab another set of the rubber legs and now I want to lay them across the shank, do two loose wraps, and then what I want to do is maneuver them so they're exactly on the side of the shank. Don't trim the front part yet. Add another little clump of dubbing. This helps splay the legs apart a little bit better. Snip the front. Pull it all back. Now I'm going to add another clump of the dubbing with the daddy long legs. Um, the back end clump I tend to add a little bit more orange because I like that little hot spot. The front end it's not as important. Um, another again here watch how I pluck it away from the weed guard. Don't want it to wrap around there. Um, and then I splay it out. I want to trim the bottom flat. Notice how it's nice that starts to look a little buggy. Uh, I'm going to trim the, the legs so they're even, and then I'm going to flip it over. Now we're going to grab our bleached deer hair. Um, this is essentially the same technique that, we're, that we would use to tie in a wing for an elk hair caddis. If you've ever tied an elk hair caddis, this is not much simpler than this. A few wraps, wrap forward. We do a couple whip finishes, and then we'll end up epoxying just a little touch or super glue on underneath. A um, little trim for, for good looks, give it a little haircut, and then here we go. We have the SS Bitters. Great bonefish fly. Permit eat the crap out of it. Designed for Belize. Fished a lot of other places. Fished very well. Thanks again for watching SS Flies Fly Time Videos. This was the SS Bitters. Have a great day. Bonefish love the SS bears.